Hi everybody, my name is Carrie Gans and I'm the creator of Newbie Rewards. That's newbierewards.com. At Newbie Rewards, we've got all kinds of ebooks and videos and video courses and just about anything you can think of to help the newbie get their online business up and running quickly and successfully. You have a one stop shop to find everything you need uh, as far as your internet education, and 95% of it's free. Now, there's a couple of programs that you need to buy only because it's outside sources that I have nothing to do with. But everything that we put on is free. Now, one of the free products we have is Autoblog Theater. Now, uh, if you prefer to join uh, Newbie Rewards, you get this as part of your membership. If not, I will put a link where you can go get it on your own and you don't have to join. So either way, you can get access to Autoblog Theater. Once again, you can either get it part, as part of your membership at Newbie Rewards or you can buy it independently and we'll give you the URL to do that because it's really cool. And it's, if you have a WordPress blog, what you know is blogging can be a terrific methodology to obtain income, to have visitors, to communicate, uh, etc. It's a great modality and it can be free because you can get it, you can set your blog up for free. One of the problems is content, content, content. Because if you don't put content up on a consistent basis, what happens is either you don't gain visitors, you don't gain position on the search engines, and you lose visitors because it gets boring. One of the problems with all of that with content is that you've got to constantly put content up there. Well, what we want to do is make sure that we give you the ability to do that in an automated basis. So I'm going to show you how we do it on one of our blogs. It's really all that simple. And we use our product, Autoblog Theater. So let's show you how we do it. So the first thing you need to do is you're going to go to your... Now I'm doing this on a Mac, so it may be a little different if you're on a PC. But what you want to do is go to your... Uh, use a, an FTP, FTP program like FileZilla. FileZilla is a free program. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to your blog. So we're going to go to our blog here on uh, WordPress Unleashed. And then what you go to your blog... And you want to go to the WP Content folder, and then you want to go to your Plugins folder, and you want to set up a new folder called Autoblog Theater. You can see it right here. All you do is create that folder. When you create that folder, what you need to do on the other side, this is your local side, and when you get Autoblog Theater, there'll be a User's Guide folder and an autoblogfeeder.php file. What you want to do is click on it and upload it into your server in your blog. That's what you need to do. You also want to create a folder called Articles in that same Autoblog Feeder folder. Now, once again, it sounds a little complicated. You do get directions when you buy Autoblog Feeder or you get it, once again, free at Newbie Rewards. But the reality is you need to set up an Articles folder and you need to have autoblogfeeder.php in the plugins directory, in a separate folder, in the plugins directory, in the WP content folder on your blog. Once again, it's all given to you instructions, so don't worry about it, but this is what you need to do. Set up a folder called Autoblog Feeder in your plugin section on your blog, and then upload autoblogfeeder.php and set up an articles directory. Once you've done that, the next thing you want to do is get some documents. So we've already done this, so we're going to go over here to our article section, okay, and we're going to go put in some articles that we know work. Let's see what we have here. Let's go in blog content. So we have a whole bunch of articles here that we know we've already looked at in social networking. Now one of the things I want you to look at when you look at your articles, it's real important, is that this is a typical article we're going to upload. But you want to make sure that there's a title line separated by a space and the rest of it is your content. And you want it to be in TXT format, notepad format, or here we're using text edit on a Mac. But you want to make sure this is the format. The first line is your title, space, and then everything else is what you want your content to be. Because this is how it's going to be put into your blog automatically. So you need to format that. Now, there's a lot of PLR a private label stuff out there that you can go ahead and buy and use. I would suggest when you when you get it, you, you're going to go in and look at it anyway. Change it around. Make it more specific to your needs, to who and what you're about, to what your blog is about, so that it's not the same as everybody else. Okay? You want it to be somewhat unique. You can also find other sources to get it as well. And we have a little five-lesson, uh, a free five-lesson e-course that you can take where we go over this a little bit with you. And it's also available when you go to uh, auto blogger site. 
and once again I'll put the URL on the on this video for you so here this is what it should look like and we've checked it so we're gonna take we're gonna go and open up our articles folder okay and all we're going to do is take these and we're gonna add them over so we're moving them all into that folder okay so we have what 20 some odd articles here right now next thing we have to do is we've got to go over to our blog so let's go over to our WordPress blog and let's see if we can find it here as you can see I have a bunch of windows open uh, let's see which one it is there we go and let's log into our blog just takes a second we'll log in now if we've done this correctly and I haven't checked it so hopefully I did it right what we'll find in the plugin section is the new plugin just taking a second to find the blog okay so now we're gonna go into our plugin section on the left hand side here and we're gonna look for our installed plugins so we're gonna click on install And let's see if it actually loaded it. Oh, I, I have to click again. Okay, so now let's look and see if it's in here. Peter must be tired. Okay, so now we got to look for Auto Blog Feeder. Here it is, right over here. Now you'll see that it's the, the it activate, edit, or delete. So once this does it, now I'm going to go to Auto Blog Feeder. I'm going to activate it. Once I activate it. What's going to happen is that under plugins, I'm going to see auto blog feeder, and there are certain options that we're going to want to change. So I'm just waiting for it to update. There we go. Now over here under plugins, you'll see auto blog feeder. Now once again, it's still reading, so we're going to let it go. And we have a couple of things to change. So now I'm going to click on the options, auto blog feeder options. And there it is. Now that what we want to do, we're going to go look for content. Now I want to go ahead and look for the auto blog feeder articles here. With these, what I've done others as well, but we're going to go right here. All right, so that's the directory that I set up on my blog. It finds it automatically for you. So all you have to do is search for it. There are 25 TXT files found. When do, it, it, this is a starting date. How often do I want to put up a new blog, a new new content? Now what you should do is just about every two or th two or three times a week. So I can change this to make it every 48 hours, and that'll keep me within that period of time. You can do minutes, seconds, whatever. Where do I want to post this information? I want to put it in, let's, let's, let's put it in, oh, I don't know, blogging for newbies. Okay? So that, that's what I have to do. Then you just click post articles. Now what's going to happen, it's going to take a minute, and it's going to automatically start posting. Now, I believe it'll post the first one right away, and then after that, it'll post a new article every 48 hours. So just think about it. You can go in, find some PLR articles that are pertinent to your website, to your blog, I'm sorry, and then just go ahead one time. So it may take you a half hour or so to put them all in, check them, put them all in, but then you're done. And then every 48 hours, automatically, it's going to go ahead and update your site. So let's see if it updated it. I don't know why it didn't refresh the screen, but let's see what happens. There's the first article. You can see it put it in, it formatted it correctly. It's just thinking a little bit. And um, I'm done. Now, every 48 hours, one of those articles will go in. I put in 25, so three times a week, I've got you know, seven weeks worth of stuff in there. Here's the article, nice long article. Okay, it shows the word count, whatever. That's all because that was in there. Now, if I went in and reformatted that article and took this out, it wouldn't show, and I would suggest you do that. I didn't check that, to be honest, but uh, you get the idea. Now, this will go in every 48 hours. So that's auto blog feeder. It automates the process of building content. So you do it once. You can do it once in an hour. Do it for a year. And then you sit back, and it does it automatically. So uh, have a great day. Check out auto blog feeder. Here's the URL right below me that you can go ahead and purchase it. If you'd rather become a member at Newbie Rewards, go over. you got to be a silver or platinum member. Because all of the software that we provide is under the silver section and the software section. So that will, you'll have to become a silver member, but it's worth it just to get Autoblog Feeder.
and you can cancel anytime you want, and there's a lot of stuff in there. Um, so 